Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome back to RuneScape. So, um, I, I, it's been a while. Uh, also, I didn't have internet, or I didn't have good internet for a while, so I couldn't play. I missed the Easter episode, but, uh, it's actually a handful of days after Easter, and the Easter event is still happening. So, I will be doing the Easter quest, but it's just gonna be in my regular lineup of videos. So, don't, yeah, that, that, Easter was a while ago for you guys, but, uh, secondly, there's a whole bunch of you new of you guys. Uh, I don't know, the algorithm liked my videos, so it sent you guys a whole bunch of new people here, so welcome. Uh, some of you guys have sent me some- that's oh, that's right. Some of you guys have sent me some, um, uh, some tips that I need to go back and check before- before too long. I'm gonna have to go back and look through those, because some of those- some of those tips that Shumi you guys were sent were very helpful. Uh, before we get going with some other things, though, there's a few kind of intermediary things I want to do before we get into anything super important. So we're gonna do some- I have, uh, 200,000 Zemo marks here, and I wanted to- I saw that this is, um, this is a- what? Oh, there you are. Uh, this is- there's a couple of, uh, things for this. Uh... There are a handful of, um, there's a handful of achievements that are with this gift here. Or an achievement, I'm, I'm not sure. I just saw that it was kind of important to get for the completion of the game, so... Uh, you will receive an untradeable item, yes. A chromatic party hat. Being from an alternate dimension, it's a bit different from those you're familiar with. Right-click it to send a copy of it to your bank outside of this dimension. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, it's not gonna be on my head because my wardrobe. Hold on. Let me, uh, remove my head. Remove my head. Uh, no. Clear my customization there. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so then I... I can smuggle this out? This will send one copy of the chromatic party hat to your bank outside this dimension. You will still keep the hat in this dimension. Yes. Cool. Alright, so I can now leave. And I have to, to- there is a- there's an achievement for showing somebody this party hat, and I don't remember who it was. So, I want to go check that out, and I guess that's in my bank now. I've also prepped for the next, uh, I've prepped for the next- the light within. I have all the items I need to complete that. Um, and they're all down here at the bottom of my bank. So where is this... Is it in here? There it is. Uh... What happens if I destroy it? You cannot reclaim it. No. Oh, okay. So I, I need to keep an inventory space for that. Um... There we go. Look at that. It's just an upside down party hat. That's hilarious. Uh... Let's see. Who do I need to talk to... To... Uh, is it activity tracker? No. No, it's under- it's here. Achievements. There we go. Um... I don't know who I need to speak to... To do this. I may have to look this up, because I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it's any of those. I think- is, is it an area task? Um... Maybe it's lore? Oh, complete all the mini quests. Books, mini quests, post, post quest. Oh, maybe it's here. Uh. Find all the hidden treasure. Gower quest. There's a lot of other things that I need to do. Um. Receive the medium clue scroll from a monkey in your backpack. Goblin cower shield. Um... Oh my gosh, there are so many of these. I'm gonna have to do a lot of these. Uh, oh, I'm pretty close to the kudos. Device deliveries, bring home the bacon. Uh, holy crap, there's so many. <laughs> Rekindle the Dragon Forge. Uh, Wilderness Portal Rogue Trader. 
You approach Shadow over Ashdale. Uh, Death Plateau, Gower Quest. One small favor, the path of Glowfree, Diamond in the Rough. Once upon a slime, rocking out, observatory quest. Was it not here? Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me let me look this up real quick. And I'm going to check uh was it chromatic party hat? Um let's see. Oh, apparently when I when I open this, a server-wide announcement happens. So apparently there was a server-wide announcement that I opened this. Um, smuggle out. Oh, when a player destroys their party hat in Gielinor, they still exist in Nuverak and they can be smuggled, smuggled out again. Okay, so I can destroy it without it being a problem. Multiple strategies, blah blah blah. Achievements. Show the wise old man your chromatic party hat. That's who it is. Uh, all right. So I need to go to Drainer. All right, that's that's what I needed to know. And we're on our way. Uh, there's also a couple of other random things that I want to do before we get into doing the Easter quest. Um, so, uh, there's just a handful of things that I've had in my bank that I've done that I want to make sure that we... That I haven't really done anything with yet, so I want to do those first. Um... Because I was planning to do them last time, but I absolutely forgot. Talk to the wise old man. Greetings, Polarized Moon. Uh, oh, I guess that works. That, that was all I needed to do. Alright, so I can destroy this. And I can get another one back from the other guy. Alright. So, let's also put my wardrobe back on. I do like this masked... Uh, oh, should I get the vampire suit on? No, I want I want this one on still. I, I like this one a lot. It still reminds me of Spider-Man. <laughs> okay, so in my bank, I have a I have the Triskelion. Uh I have all the Triskelion pieces, so I want to do this. Uh and then I have the Alchemist key, which I don't actually know what that's for. So I'm gonna look that up. Alchemist's key. In the tech sec har front in House of the West Pole used to access Sentistan. Okay, so this isn't the thing I can do yet. I just have a bunch of them. The tech har front, the fourth front of the Elder God Wars dungeon. No requirements to access. City of Sentistan is recommended for better understanding of the story. Okay, so uh, we will not do that just yet, but I do have the Triskelion pieces, so I can put that together. And if I remember correctly, the, the place that I need to place this is up here in this general area along the mountain somewhere. I think, don't quote me on that, I need to, I'm, I'm searching. Uh, okay. I think it's- I think it's over here? I've seen it before, and I've- I've- I thought I made a note in my head, like, yeah, go check that, because you've got the Triskelion. But I don't actually remember if it's against this wall or not. So I think it's, like, somewhere along this? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was, like, right there, but maybe it's further down? Is it along the- maybe I'm looking- thinking of the wrong... Rock face. Ah, there it is. Use this on that. Uh... Cool. I got- a th I got stuff. That's great. Not particularly anything that was too important. Uh, yeah, so I think that's generally everything that I really wanted to go do before we continue, I think. I'm gonna do a one more pass through my, my bank and then we'll, we'll check. 
And then we'll go do the the holiday quest. Uh, there's actually a couple of holiday events here because we've got... Um, oh, yeah. Uh, hold on. Where's my... Oh, it's been a while since I've looked through my bank. Um, no. Gemstone... My gemstone pouch is here. There we go. So I can just stick those in there. Everything else can go back in. There we go. And that uh, clue scroll went to where I wanted it to go. In my clue scroll. I have a lot of clue scrolls that I need to go do at some point. Um, oh, I was going to check. One last check here. Oh, the a ancient effigy. I, I don't know what this is, and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. So we're going to investigate it. So you inspect the ancient effigy. You begin to feel a strange sensation of the relic searching your mind, drawing on your knowledge. Images from your experiences of binding essence and spirits fill your mind. Uh, rune crafting or summoning? My summoning is stronger. Or no, rune crafting is stronger, so I guess we'll do that. You can almost hear a voice in the back of your mind whispering to you. Oh! The ancient effigy glows briefly. It seems changed somehow, no longer responds to the same memories as before. Sudden bolt of inspiration flashes through your mind, revealing new insight into your experiences. Invest. Oh, fire making, cooking. Oh, interesting. Okay, so am I just. How does this work? Okay, fire making or cooking? Uh, they're approximately the same, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, fire making, I guess? Sated smithing or mining. Uh, mining is higher. Because it said it, I'm feeding it, but does that mean that I- no, I, let's do- yeah, let's do smithing. Seems to desire knowledge of experiences you've not yet had. Someone in the Varrock Museum might be able to help? Uh... Mining? Oh. Okay. Uh... Alright. Gorged fletching or woodcutting? Uh... Woodcutting is... Woodcutting is really high. Woodcutting. The ancient effigy crumbles to dust, revealing a strange lamp that had been hidden inside. Sudden bolt of inspiration flashes through your mind, revealing new insight into your experiences. Dragon lamp. Oh, cool. I'm gonna use that on... Bench sitting? Uh, <laughs> what? Next level, 83. Uh, okay, hold on. We're, we're using this on necromancy because I need to get to level 95 on necromancy. Uh, as you focus on your chosen memories, you feel a burning malevolence in the back of your mind. You have gained new insight in necromancy, but at what cost? I... was I not supposed to do that? Bench sitting? Hold on, what is this? Ooh, a new skill. So, how do I train it? The skill guys I seem to sit on a bench. There must be more to it, surely. Mentions benches can be found about Falador Park, City of Um, Fort Four and Three, and a call... States that you can receive a bench sitting skill cape from Tur Certificate Cashier in Valdor Park. Explicit instructions on how to gain experience. Set a best, relax, take in the scenery, that's it. Finally, perfect skill. Best get to training it. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna go bench sit? Is this. Is. Uh, it's after f April Fool's Day today. Is this a leftover April Fool's Day joke? Is that what's going on here? Oh, no, this isn't where I wanted to go. Uh, I wanted to go to Falador. Oh, I keep forgetting that I have these all done. They're all for my skilling things. Alright. Um. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go sit on a bench. And relax. Can I not... Okay, I can't sit on those benches. They said there's some in the Falador Park, so we're gonna go here. Oh, sit on bench. Cool.
Oh, I'm <laughs> I'm actually getting experience for this. Is that what is the, what is this? Oh my god, this is hilarious. Hold on, I need to look this up. Is this a is this a April Fools joke? Uh In, in practice, it takes 11 minutes. Continue sitting on a bench to reach level 99. Continue to sit on a bench will not... Oh, interesting. <laughs> uh, so this is a leftover April Fool's thing. Benches that can be sat on to train bench sitting and are the following... Oh my god, concept art for the bench sitting skill and cape. Oh, that is so funny. I need this. I am going... You know what I'm going to do? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hang around here until I get this first level up. And then I am going to cut here. And then I'm gonna come back uh after I have I guess eleven minutes. I'll I'll just cut for eleven minutes and then get uh have my level ninety nine. I will be back after that. But I wanna see what happens at, at level one. And then from there on we will uh <laughs> we will we'll We'll see how it goes from there. This is hilarious. I'm glad I noticed that. I was like, wait a second, this isn't laid out how it normally is. I can't believe I didn't see it after clicking on necromancy this whole time. I am so dumb. This is the funniest skill of all time, probably. Oh, that is, that is hilarious. I absolutely love this. Is there anything else going on here? Experience bonuses do not apply to the skill. The experience pop-ups via rune metrics exclude the internalization number delimiter. Experience lamps cannot give benching experience. Levels and experience earned do not contribute to players total level experience. Target system. Oh, I can't target. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, reaching 99 bench sitting does not result in a world broadcast. That's hilarious. That I love this. I may, uh, if I remember to while I'm editing this, I will show this, uh, I will show this, uh, concept art page. This is just really funny. All right. Well, we got 14. So that's what, one a second? Uh, oh, one every 2.4 seconds, one every four ticks. Well, we're very close. Oh, I hear, I hear ducks. Can I actually, like, do stuff while I'm here? Like, look through pages and whatnot? Well, it looks like I can. But there's not enough time for that. That's really funny. Bench sitting proficiency unlocked. Placeholder number, update this to something reasonable once balancing is reviewed. Oh, now we're just getting levels up like crazy. Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, wait, is that... Hold on. 65... Wait. Was the majority of this time just for the beginning of this? I... How long have I been sitting here already? Bench sitting, guild unlocked. Guild hasn't constructed quite yet. At least you've unlocked it. You will now earn more experience. Un you're more likely to think up new ideas. Bench warming unlocked. When while sitting on a bench, the spot you're sitting will slowly warm up. Oh, this is hilarious. You know what? Never mind. We're not cutting for this. I love this. You guys are. We're we're just gonna we're just gonna sit and be. Oh, improved bench sitting weather. Well, sitting on a bench in rainy weather will be less common. Oh, that is so funny. You know what? I wish real life had if I if I could just use my bench sitting skill, go sit on a thing in real life and just all the the, the rainy weather goes away if I sit down, that would be fantastic. Peaceful naps. Whilst bench sitting, you are now much less likely to be accidentally awoken when napping. Oh, this is going much this is this is, I I'm glad I didn't cut because this is hilarious. 
do 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 all right 83 okay so now it's gonna be a little bit slower to get levels up but I'm okay with that 65,000 experience per four ticks is hilarious ah so now I see how it's gonna be a little bit longer that is hilarious I'm gonna get my second I'm gonna get my second 99 that's gonna be fantastic Oh, do I get to keep the bench sitting cape? I I want I want the bench sitting cape. I want to keep it forever. I'll I, I will never take it off. Improved bench sitting comfort. You will now relax eighty percent more when sitting on benches. Oh man, I've I've been to places that have really awful benches, and being able to just any bench be eighty percent more comfortable when on that bench. That would be fantastic. Oh, speaking of an uncomfortable bench, I need to I need to tighten the screws on my my chair. The uh, the back wants to automatically drop down, and I I lost the Allen key for it, the Allen wrench, so I'm gonna have to go find a different. I'm gonna have to go through my toolbox and find another Allen <laughs> wrench for it. Oh man! Oh, we're level eight. We're almost level ninety. Oh. Two more, two more experiences. There, one more. Ooh. Wet paint sense. You now have a 50% chance to avoid sitting on a freshly painted bench. I have never sat on a freshly painted bench. Uh, I have, I, I do know someone who has. Uh, I will not oust them here, but it was really funny. Um... And I thought it was the most hilarious thing to ever happen because you never see that kind of thing in real life. Uh, it's just like, oh, they, oh, they sat on a bench and it has paint all over their shirt. Uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a super important outfit for them, which is good. Uh, oh, bench scavenging. Whilst training bench sitting, you can now occasionally find useful resources. Wait, is that is that real? Can I just like can I just like randomly collect an item here? I doubt it, but this would be really funny. Oh, we're already at 92. Man. There's there's a couple of things that have happened in real life where I'm sitting there and I'm like, "Oh, level 93." Uh that I things that are only supposed to happen in cartoons have happened a handful of times in real life. It's always hilarious. Uh, even if it's something that's super annoying at the time, sometimes you'll look back at it and it's like, yeah, that was pretty funny. Um, oh, we are almost to level 94. Here we go. Fantastic. I, I love this. Wilderness raids. <laughs> You've advanced 43 bench sitting levels. That is hilarious. It's like level two, level 45. That is really funny. All right. So also, I'm gonna need to, uh, oh. You find a coin. It has been added to your money pouch. Was that real? Did I get a coin for that? That's really funny. Um, I guess that's the occasionally useful resources that I could find. So, uh, I'm gonna have to redo the end of Dimension of Disaster, but that's not a huge problem, so I will do that off-camera. Um, so after I finish getting my level up, we will start the Great Expectations. Uh, Age Ambiguous. I don't- I don't know if this is a permanent quest, so I'm just gonna do it now. Some of the- some of the seasonal quests stay permanently. I don't know how or why they decide to do that for some of them, but it is a thing. So, I- but I do want to make sure that I... Oh, there's actually items you need for this. Interesting. I did not pre-collect those items. I pre-collected the items I need for the light within. Uh, Enchant Key. I already had these. I figured out how to get the Grand Exchange- or the Grand Defense Potion. And I made sure I got the light cores. Uh, footstools? 
Whilst bench sitting, you can now use footstools if they are present. Are they not present? Are, are there just no footstools? Wallace. What is that? Okay, 97. We're almost there. We're just about to reach... Wow. <laughs> this... This is hilarious. I, I absolutely love this. That's so funny. I'm surprised there's no one else here. Everybody else probably did it on on April Fool's Day. I I'm glad that yeah, I'm glad that it stayed around afterwards because I would not have uh, I would not have been able to do it otherwise. Oh, there we go, level 98. One more level. We're almost there. We're gonna get our second. We're gonna get our second level 99. That is fantastic. I mean, technically, I could absolutely get this woodcutting up to 99 in between episodes. That would not take very long. Uh, but, you know, I'm just kind of going with the flow on some of these. Yeah, because Necromancy, I believe, is still the, the only quest now that I have to get to a level. All, all the rest of these, I have the required... I have the required level for all quests, except- oh! You activate the customization- there we go. Sir Tiffy in Falador Park, Glenn your bench sitting cape. Yeah, there we go. Let's go get my bench sitting cape. Absolutely. Oh, a new skill. Oh, is this the same? Okay, I wish that had a different dialogue. Uh, oh, does he have the cape on? He does. Oh my god. Perfect. What? Uh, okay. That's not, um, no, no, th no, thank you. <laughs> What's that cape you're wearing? Oh, my post pipe procession. This is my bench sitting cape. Only able to be worn by masters of bench sitting. Can I have one? Sir Tiffy looks you up and down, examining your bench setting capabilities. Hmm, you have a sense of calm about you. Appreciation for admiring the scenery. A good sitting posture. Wooden slats indents on your legs. Yes, I would certainly say you are worthy of such a cape. Thank you. Oh, I hope this is permanent. Oh, hold on. I need to I need to remove my customization for Uh wait. Oh, I am so dumb. I didn't... Uh... Apply. There we go. Look at that. I am now... I got my second level 99. That is fantastic. Bench sitting, I love it. Okay, so let's go to... Let's go start up this next quest here. If I go to Berthorpe, I can get to the, the rabbit. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm doing here. I I fully was expecting to want to cut away for that, but they had fun dialogue the whole time. I'm I'm not I'm not mad. <laughs> that was fun. All right, let's head up over here. I believe this is where I need to go. Great expectations. Set active. Uh Talk to Sour Bunny. In the Blooming Burrow. Do I go down here? Oh, okay. Got it. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, I like that. This is great. All right, let's talk to the Easter Bunny. Happy Easter, Polar Ice Moon, and welcome to the Blooming Burrow. Our celebrations are in full swing. There's plenty to explore and help out with. Uh, accept quest. It's lovely to see you during Easter celebrations again. How come you haven't been around recently? Uh, I, uh, I may have overslept a tad. You overslept? By how long? A day or two, maybe a year, uh, longer. You've been sleeping for years? I suppose it's been more of an extra long hibernation than just oversleeping, really. Normally, my cuckoo clock would wake me up a little morning chirp, chick. The batteries must have ran out. But I digress. It's great to be awake again. The sun is shining, the flowers are blossoming. I even heard the druids in Gilinor have thrown the spring festivities while I was gone. 
It's so nice the celebrations didn't cease while I was snoring away. There has been one downside, however. You woke up to find some new wrinkles, gray hairs, long-term health problems have been arisen from being unconscious for years. Bed sores? Yes, no, yes, no, and no. It's something far more important than my health and beauty. My egg business. Once I had awoken, I got to the work, making some classic chocolate eggs as always. However, it soon became apparent that my plain old chocolate eggs won't cut it anymore. While I was gone, many other b budding chocolatiers climbed the business ladder, bringing a competitive edge to the market. If I don't start producing some new and innovative ideas, I could go out of business. The Easter Bunny himself in danger of losing his chocolate egg business. Seems like there should be some sort of rule against that. You think so? The world is a cruel and ruthless place. So, Polarized Moon, if you have the time, I would very much appreciate your help in finding some revolutionary new chocolate ideas for me to produce. I'd be happy to help you out. Where should I start? Uh, you should introduce yourself to my niece, Coco Bunny. She's been apprenticing under my watchful eye and will have some information you can get you on the right direction. Where can I find Coco Bunny? Normally she likes to hang around my house, but not today. You'll have to search around the blooming burrow for her. I'll hop to it then. So I guess she's just out and around somewhere. Rabbits. Uh, that's just a person. Search chocolate burrow. Oh, there's a hunting mini game here. Um, oh, this place is much larger than I expected. Is there a map? There is a map. Eggplant. <laughs> Eggplant. Oh, I love that. Oh, gummy bunny. Nougat bunny. Uh... No, I guess you're not here. Um... Egos. Chewy bunny, gooey bunny, stewy bunny. Can I go up? No. Uh... No, I guess... There's people just uh, skilling here. Uh, let's see. How about over here? Is there like a chocolate mine? Is that what this is? I also I didn't actually read anything else other than eggplant mines farm. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, deposit choc mine chocolates. Aya, rooster, search the burrow, okay, there's little chicks everywhere, that's cute, um, hmm, looks like there may be someone over here. Coco Bunny! There you are. Coco Bunny? Can I help you? Your uncle has asked us to work together to find some new chocolate recipes for his business. He said you can't have some information. He said you'd have some information on where we can start. Well, if uncle insists, I'm perfectly capable of doing this on my own, though. I don't doubt that. Working under the Easter Bunny, you have loads of knowledge and ideas for new chocolate. Except I don't. I tried experimenting with carrot chocolate that was too crunchy, then sakura infused chocolate, too much of an acquired taste. Ooh, sakura chocolate. That sounds so good. That's okay. Not everyone is born to be a confectioner. I clearly have no talent for inventing chocolate. Started sending my network for intel instead. Your your network? Coco Bunny looks around suspiciously. Make sure no one else is in earshot. My smaller siblings. They can travel anywhere through their tiny burrows. The bunnies? Shh, not so loud. Okay, okay, if they brought anything back useful. I've heard murmurings where a competition can be found making their chocolate. You want to steal from the competition? She wants to be on top of the chocolate business once again. Well, that's corporate espionage. Psst, what makes it sound so serious? We can make my uncle proud. What if your uncle finds out? He won't, as long as you don't tell, of course. Come on, it'll be fun. All right, but just this once. Okay. Okay, it's where we'll be able to find them. First of all, I heard a man and a monkey living together on a tropical island. Then, a group of pacifists 
in a place where the sun beams down. And lastly, in a dark underground where dwarves and scorpions can be found. Once you find them, don't let them know you're there. Might have a recipe laying about that we can get the necessary information from instead. Sounds like we have no time to lose. Let's go. Okay, so do I, do I have to go to those places myself? Tropical land where... I mean, I, I, I understand where these are. I mean... One's in Karamja. Uh, I have to go up to the point. Will you be with me if I teleport? <laughs> My bench cape. I love the bench cape. Uh, yeah, there you go. So, I'm assuming that this is the only- I, I can't think of any other place where a man lives with a monkey. Other than up here at- Oh, it's on the- It's on the map. <laughs> I mean, I, I figured that out already. And then the other one is the, um, the- Oh, I gotta open the gate. Uh, in the desert, and then the other one is- oh. Have there always been sharks out there? That's cool. And then in the Dwarven Mine. I'm pretty sure those are the places where we're looking, right? Pacifists gather and the sun scorches down. Alright. Then again, I can just look at the map. Because it seems like they're just gonna let me... Let me go. Figure it out myself. Eavesdrop on ban Banoffee chocolate recipe. It's like a recipe for... Banoffee chocolate? Let's listen in. Oh, we've got a cutscene. Now, let's slice the bananas. Oh, oh. I know, I know. I can make a special batch for you after. With the skin left on. Hmm, my machete's a bit blunt. There we go. That seems a bit dramatic. Eek, ook, ook. Yes, let's pour in the caramel before it hardens. Banana caramel chocolate? Ook, ook. You can stir the next batch if you want and try to perfect it this time. There we go. An exemplary pot of banoffee chocolate. Caramel and banana? Who would have thought? Now there's a foolproof combination. I love that my eyes are glowing. <laughs> That's great. On to the next. Yeah, okay. Oh, the other one's not on the map because it's underground. That makes sense. I love it. <laughs> it's hilarious. So I'm not going to normally when I was when I'm doing a holiday event quest, I usually would do the whole holiday event in one episode. But since this is not technically a holiday love or a holiday uh this is not technically a holiday episode, I'm just going to cut and then go to the next episode. Um uh, because that is just about all the time I've got for this episode. Like and subscribe if you liked the episode. Ring that bell if you like to see more. Good night. Oh, there's some demons here. Uh, let's not fight that guy. But we will search for... We will search for the, uh... The... We'll search for the thing tomorrow. Good night. I'll see you then. Bye-bye!